Fluttershy Zoo. With Fluttershy. Me and you and Fluttershy too. Come along and see what's new. We're watching the things that animals do. New animal friends to see. Animal sanctuary is the place to be. Me and you and Fluttershy too. Come along and see what's new at Animal Sanctuary waiting for you. Hello and welcome to Fluttershy Zoo. At my animal sanctuary, I'll show you all different kinds of animals that I care for. And in this video, we'll be talking about an animal that has black spots on their bodies, looks like a big cat, has yellow eyes, and has whiskers. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a leopard! Leopards are part of the Panthera pardus species. They have pale yellow to golden fur with black spots. They are also known as a super cat. And just like a normal house cat, they are pouncers, not chasers. The black spots on their fur are called rosettes. Each leopard's spots are different from all the others, just like the design of every snowflake. They are like natural polka dots. The pattern helps them camouflage into the environment while they hunt or hide. They are nocturnal animals too. That means they are mostly active during the night. The black variations of the panthers are very good at hunting at night. Part of being a good hunter is to see everyone else, but not let anyone see you. They love playing hide and seek. Leopards are great at climbing trees, and they spend most of their time in them as well. Resting, hunting, and sleeping. Trees also give them a great vantage point. They are also very fast runners. They can run up to 36 miles per hour. That's fast, but not faster than Rainbow Dash. When a female leopard gets pregnant, they gestate for about 95 days. Then they give birth to usually two to four cubs. And when the mama gives birth, she makes sure she is in a cave, a hollow tree, or some kind of den. Leopard cubs are born with longer and thicker fur than normal adults. And they're just like normal house cats. They love to play, have fun, and learn new things from their mama. And when the cubs are ready, they will join their mama on hunts for food. Aren't they just so cute? I could just dump them in a cup of tea. Fluttershy, did you not hear the first three times when I called your name? No, I'm sorry. I have my headphones on. Well, I need some help at the farm. I got a pack of timber wolves terrorizing my chickens. They're on my chickens like flies on manure. Have you tried talking to them? Well... They don't understand Ponish, Fluttershy. They understand me. That's because it's you! What are you doing anyway? I'm making a video on leopards. Like that one I had to find in the forest to protect Apple Bloom? Yep, a little like that. That wasn't the same animal, but they are in the same species. Well, I heard that sometimes when a female gives birth, the father will kill some of the babies to make the female go back into heat. Is that true? Oh, unfortunately, yes. Holy moly! Um, Applejack, I'm kind of busy with I this. I can't imagine killing your own babies. That's just wrong, I tell you. And don't get me started on their attitude. Strutting around like they're kings and queens of the jungle. Well, let me tell you, just cause you got spots don't make you royalty. Oh, and another thing. Fluttershy, are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. What, are you listening, Fluttershy? Yes. Do you realize, let me tell you something. Yes. Do you realize that if these timber wolves catch my chickens, I won't have eggs to provide for the town and we'll have to outsource our eggs from another farm? <sighs> It'll just make Thanks eggs for more expensive for every 